this next video is going to uh, go a little further with the basic regular expression uh, that I use with the grep tool. We are going to introduce uh, classes of characters and we are going to illustrate how to, to use them. So the syntax, the basic syntax to represent a class of character is a square bracket notation and then a colon following and preceding the opening and closing the square brackets and then a keyword here that uh, gives you a pretty good hint about uh, what this class of uh, character represents. Okay, so just to go quickly over them, uh, lower represent letters, lowercase letters. So here's an example: the interval a to z. Uh, upper, obviously, is the uppercase version of those letters. So uh, uppercase a to uppercase z. Alpha doesn't care. Alpha is a letter that's going to be either uppercase or lowercase. Alnum stands for alpha numerical, uh, meaning that it allows uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and then digits 0 to 9. If you want only the digit, you use the keyword digit that matches only character 0 to 9. Uh, punctuation is going to be punctuation characters. Uh, let's take some example here. There we go. Um, and then blank is going to match um, white spaces, meaning a space, a tab, uh, things of that nature. So this is just a, a simple set here that's going to come handy when you write your own regular expression that, that, that prevents you from having to actually specify uh, things by hand, okay, uh, using, for example, the set notation. This, this is like actually much more readable uh, generally than using the equivalent set notation here to represent those, uh, those patterns. Uh, so we can use them exactly the same way that we use um, a single character in a set expression. Let me illustrate this. Uh, so this is our data file, this is our terminal. Um, if I want to match I want to match uh, the word else, okay, followed by a digit. Uh, I can actually use this notation. Let's start with the, uh, the long notation here. Okay. So uh, I'm specifying that I want to match else followed by one character. And that character can be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or nine. Okay, so that's the first way to get this done. Now there is a better way to, to write the same expression. The better way to write the same expression consists in using um, the square uh, bracket set notation. Okay, but instead of specifying all of the, the digits by hand, we're going to say digits 0 to 9. Okay, so if I do this, uh, I obtained the same result. It's just that I wrote by hand actually that I wanted to match 0 to 9. Okay, so this, uh, this uh, minus sign here has a special meaning when you use it inside, um, inside a square bracket uh, set notation in a regular expression. It allows you to specify an interval. So the, the interval is based on the fact that those characters are ordered uh, we start with 0, etc., and go up to 9 in the ASCII table. So make sure that you read uh, the material about locales, uh, because sometimes, um, like for example, the lowercase letter can be located before the uppercase, their uppercase counterparts, or after. Okay, So you need to be aware of those problems when you use the intervals. Uh, obviously, you can completely ignore those problems if you are using this new notation that I have introduced. Okay, So in this case, digit. So one thing that I want to draw your attention on is that the square bracket colon digit colon square bracket is a way to mean a 0 to 9. So you could say that this, okay, I'm just going to type it here, is, uh, is really equivalent to 0 to 9. So that means that when you want to use that in a, in a set notation, when you want to use 0 to 9, you remember to put square brackets around it because 0 to 9 would not be uh, the same. Square brackets mean I'm going to match one character. Here is my definition of what the character can be. So this should help you remember to add a set of square brackets around uh, the, the class, the character class notation here. So it's just a little confusing because the character class notation already has a square bracket. Uh, just learn this, okay? Memorize it. Uh, you should uh, you should add the square bracket around. So we can match obviously uh, one digit like this. We can uh, specify that we want to match uh, a second digit. I don't know if I have an example like that in my. Uh, uh, do I have else four, five, six? No. Okay. So let's do it uh, right now. Three, five, nine. Okay. Space. 
So I could say I want to match L with two digits, I want to match L with three digit digits. Okay, and so on and so forth. And uh, you can obviously, uh, we can go back to, to what we were doing uh, originally with something. I could say I want to match um, something, and I want to match here any letter. Okay, so how do I express any letter? Oops. I would use the class. Let me double check real quick. Well, if we don't care about uppercase, lowercase, we would use alpha. Uh, if we even allow numbers, I'll num, and otherwise upper or lower. So I'm going to use here alpha. Okay, and this does uh, what we have been uh, doing at the beginning of uh, the previous video, actually. So we have a, a way here to, to simplify a little bit our notation. I mean, it's kind of cumbersome. Uh, there's a lot of square brackets, especially here when you use several of them in a row. You can see it's a bunch of square brackets following one another. It's not uh, it's not a perfect notation by any stretch of the, the imagination, but it's still much more portable actually than using uh, intervals because it's independent of the local, and it's also a little bit more readable in terms of when I saw when I see here digits. I know exactly what you mean when I saw alpha, etc. I know those classes, I know exactly what you mean, they are standard. So I really encourage you to use those classes when you are trying to, to match things that can be expressed with those uh, different classes of character. Okay, And obviously we have the same for punctuation mark, uh, spaces, etc. So this could be used again uh, to delimitate words, but we've seen that there is a better way to actually delimitate words. So I, I encourage you to use uh, the backslash lesser than, backslash greater than, when you are trying to delimitate a word. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.